everybody. Hello. Happy Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras again. Brother John's on. I don't know. I feel like I've sung this song nine billion times. Anyway. I, I'm actually dancing on the inside. We're back at Mardi Gras. Woo! Where's Back to Towers? Back to Towers. We're doing a food challenge today. And if you come today, because we're here, the sun's out. Sun's out every time we come to Alton Towers now. Ooh. But anyway, um, so at Mardi Gras they have Food Street, uh, which is filled with food trucks and special food offerings in some of the um, restaurants, is too brand a word, some of the food outlets. Um, so we're here today to try out some of the food. Is it good value for money? Is it better than Alton Towers food? Let's find out. So what we're going to do is we've got a random number wheel. Yeah. And we're going to pick whatever stall the number wheel tells us to pick. So our food that we're going to eat is being randomly picked and we don't have a choice. We don't have a choice, we have to eat there. So we're going to do a starter, yeah. a main yeah. and a dessert. Now the starter will be slightly different because obviously starter choices are slim. Yeah. So we're going for nachos, nachos for the starter. Mardi Gras nachos, Mardi Gras not nachos. just nachos. But the main and the dessert will all be decided by the spin of a wheel. So, I mean, I'm most worried about the dessert, to be honest. There's a lot of choice. I hope so. There's a lot of choice. So, come with us. We'll see you the prices. We'll show you the menus. We'll show you everything on the food trucks. And we'll let you know what we think at the end. See if you can see what we've chosen by the expression on my face. Salsa, 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 sour cream, guacamole, 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 guac
What do we get? Come on, colour wheel. It stops. Oh. It is Smokehouse. Yeah. Smokehouse. Smokehouse. I said they do something good smokehouse. there, right? Eh? So let's go and check out the Smokehouse. And something cheap. See what we get. So this is the uh, the one that was selected by the pullet wheel, uh, the old smokehouse, and we have selected, well, we've selected Hickory Taster. old Hickory Taster. Now the only problem with our selection is they had no chicken wings, uh, which is part of the taster. So we're having extra pork and chips. So we kind of got a bit of a semi-taster going on. So we've got the Hickory Taster. I have to say I'm disappointed. Very disappointed. Disappointed from the look of it, but it might taste better than it looks. It is very small. Ten pounds. Um, supposed to have pork, chicken wings, and grilled corn. They haven't got any chicken wings, so we've had fries. Um, I'll show the video you can see. Obviously, I put my hand in to give you a size reference. Taste a place. It is not. I'll see what Mr. Taylor thinks. So try and make the old pull for cold, which I wasn't expecting. Cold. And um afraid to say absolutely nondescript. Yeah, so let me just try a fry. Slightly warmer, but not warm. Fries. So what do we think, Mrs. T? It's very watery. Yep. Yeah. Very watery. Check the seasoning. And on the fries? Better than average. The seasoning on them is okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Try the corn. Corn's good. Corn's good. Yeah. Nice and buttery. So, value for money for £10, what do we think? Poor. Very poor. poor. The best thing on that plate is the corn. The corn, okay. Dessert time. Dessert time. After that, we're very poor, very poor, mean. Yeah, I mean. Bloody wheel did us dirty. The, the choices were um, king cakes, donuts. That sounds nice. Beignets or crepes. So, there's no poor choice there. No, I'm, I'm with that on all three. I'll and take the wheel all three. Has chosen, I will put in. Chosen the donuts now. Good wheel. So that wheel. incorporates king cake, donuts, and ice cream. So let's go and see the menu and decide what we're having. Might as well have to have all of them. So we've got here a fromut and a king cake. Ignore the diet coke. That's just diet coke. <laughs> So the fro-nut uh, fro yeah. fro is a lemon donut with a dark cherry soft serve ice cream. Yeah. And the king cake is cinnamon cake with, cinnamon bits cake on. with jelly babies. Yeah. So, so six pounds fifty for the fro nut, five pounds for the king cake. At the moment, fro winning. It's a winner. I'm going to go for the ice cream first. Wooden spoons upset me. Taste the cherry. Okay. Try again. It's very subtle. Very, very subtle. Donut. I'm assuming is a donut. Is a donut. It's a lemon donut. The donut's quite stale. Not yeah, but I, I don't. I got that impression just when you went for the next piece. Yeah, it's quite stale. with the ice cream well the king cake definitely doesn't look like it's worth five pounds and at the moment it also looks i would say a little bit stale i could be wrong are you going for it first yeah, you go for it. Oh, it's 
throat exceptionally dry. Uh, Not just dry, exceptionally, exceptionally dry. dry. So let's give it a go. It may take me a while. Definitely taste cinnamon. It's really such a nice taste, but it's incredibly dry. Really, really dry. Would it benefit from some ice cream? Let's find out. Maybe break a bit off. I said a bit of ice cream. Ooh. Oh, you found a cherry store. I found, store. The, I found, found the cherry. cherry store in there. Mm. Better. Much better. Much better. Mm. Would you buy again? Oh, look at the dryness on that. Would I buy that one again? Yeah. Absolutely not, no. Okay. But it's actually, um, it tastes okay, especially with that little bit of ice cream. And on that time, I actually could taste the dark cherry. I'm going to try it again. <laughs> so we've done the meal wheel. The meal wheel? The meal wheel. Oh, wheel. See, so I've been, think of that. I've been thinking that for ages, yeah. the meal wheel. So we've done the meal wheel challenge and uh, at Mardi Gras. At Mardi Gras. Hey Mardi Gras. So as hey, you know. Hey Mardi Gras. And if you've been to Alton Towers and you visited Mardi Gras, that song will be in your head. Yeah. So, we, in, in, so nachos. Nachos were a hit. Yeah, nachos uh, nachos, were okay. Alton Towers, ordinary just jazzed up for Mardi Gras. £7.50 roughly, including discount. As a share, I think that was a hit. Yeah. And I think it's value for money as a share. Yes. On your own, it's worth it. Absolutely not. Yeah. But as a share, value for money. Then for. And tasty. Tasty, yeah. For the next one, we did the Old Hickory, Smoked Hickory Taster. Um, nah, £10. Um, for a very small portion, really. And, and uh, the way it was poor. Yeah, it was really, really poor quality. So that's a definite no go. And then finally, for dessert, we went to Donut and we had the uh, Fronut and the, uh, the, what was that? Pancake? King cake. And the king cake. Um, mixture. Neither of them were great, but. Neither of them were really bad. Yeah, exactly. But they were Just middling. Really good. Uh, value for money, no, no, five quid for effectively for a cinnamon bun, um, dry cinnamon bun, no, and six pound fifty for the throw nut, so that's a normal donut, uh, glazed donut with ice cream in the middle, value for money, not great, better, but, better, I think if the donuts and the, the king cake had been fresh, yeah, that would be a different matter, but both were very dry, very stale, the was only rescued by the fact that it got ice cream on it, so it softened it a bit. But surprisingly, I ate them both. But as a £6.50 for an ice cream and a donut, I don't get a theme park. That's not a bad price. It's not a bad price at a theme park, really, is and it? And don't forget the strawberry daiquiri. So as a, as a, as a three course meal. Would, and, a, and a strawberry daiquiri. But would you recommend, recommend that three course meal we had to anybody to say, go and do that? No. No, and neither would I. Would you say it was better than all the Towers food you could get from no. the food outlet, like Burger Kitchen or no, Chicken I, Place? I wouldn't or... say it was better, I wouldn't say it was worse. I would say it was on a par with Burger Kitchen to be fair, because that would... Yeah, there you go. Dead to me. So, if you want to do the meal wheel, see, that's not going away. If you want to do the meal wheel challenge, uh, feel free to let us know what you've had, etc. In total, uh, it came to roughly just under thirty pounds and no for the food. No discount on Food Street. No. Quite expensive. Yep. Okay. So go and do the meal wheel challenge, and I will keep repeating that as much as I can now. Hashtag meal wheel. Hashtag meal wheel, and uh, let us know what you end up with on the meal wheel challenge. Like, subscribe, share. We're missing the two key actions. Share and keep on tracking.